This is a happy story with a happy ending. All right, here with James Darcy talking about Those Who Kill. Explain to us a little bit about the show and your character. Well, it's uh, hopefully a very powerful, compelling, and exciting, suspenseful psychological drama. We're dealing with two characters. One is played by Chloe Sevigny, and she's a police officer who is a very damaged woman, comes from a very troubled background, and she tracks me down to help her. And I play a professor, a forensic psychologist, who kind of is treading a very difficult moral line and slightly dancing on the edge of sanity. The really compelling part about the show is the mystery of the two of us together, and you're never entirely sure how we're going to react in any given moment. Code three, keep those units coming. As a forensic psychologist, how do you get into the mindset for a character like that? Well, I was really lucky. We have fantastic writers on the show, so that helps so tremendously when they're able to write things economically that enable you to find something of that complexity, and it's exactly why I wanted to do the show. Television's changed so much in the last 20 years. It used to be that the hero had to be a very heroic, two-dimensional guy, and there was never a problem. And now we like to see their vulnerability. We like to see their flaws. We like to feel identification with all of that complexity. And that's exactly what the writers have done here. Did you ever trust anyone you shouldn't have? What do you think that we see in shows like this that makes people so interested in this side of a story where it's not just, oh, I can tell this is going to happen right away? Well, I think from an audience's perspective, it's really exciting to explore from the safety of your couch these incredibly complex and dark thought processes. And, you know, let's face it, okay, most human beings have never done anything vaguely like this, but everybody's had dark thoughts at some point, and they've kind of frightened you. You know, and I think that it's really a very fertile, dramatic area to kind of mine. And obviously, from an actor's perspective, it's very exciting because we get to deal with the big dramatic moments. But also, from an audience's perspective, I think, you know, there's an element of voyeurism. But I actually, I hope that the audience have some identification with these very vulnerable and damaged characters. These minds are dark. How do you yourself go about making this character your own and making sure that when people do watch, if they have, for instance, seen the original show, how are they going to be able to separate that character who is the same character to yours? Well, I think that the really big giveaway is that their one is in Danish and ours is in English. And when they realize there are no subtitles, they will be thinking, this is the American version. Uh, when they see it with subtitles, they'll be thinking, this is the original Danish version.